So in your recent past, we have the Seven of Swords. The Seven of Swords can point to someone who is behaving with less than ethical intentions. It sometimes also means prying into someone's life where you don't belong. If you sense that someone is spying on you, you're probably right. If you are tempted to dig through someone else's life, unless it is that of your minor child who has given you cause for concern, resist the impulse. Everyone deserves privacy. And this card is paired with the Two of Cups. Now the Two of Cups often refers to romantic partnership, but that is not its only connotation. It can speak of balance, friendship, joy, and sharing. In general, this is a card that says that things are likely to be going well. You should be feeling more than usually loved, cared for, and content. So with these two cards paired together, if you're sensing someone is spying on you, you're probably right. But clarify with the Two of Cups, it's most likely a love interest or romantic connotation. Just remember that. Now we move on to the present with the King of Cups. Now the King of Cups speaks of balance, male and female energy. He holds all the positive qualities of both, both masculine and feminine. Often indicating a literal male in your life, usually when he represents a live person, he's referring to a very kind of loving man who generally have hair on the lighter end of the spectrum. Know that you are supported by the universe in ways seen and unseen. When he appears, in general, the King of Cups represents kindness and compassion. There is an element of pure and true love in your life, no matter what your situation, when he appears. Nature yourself and allow others to nature I'm sorry, excuse me, nurture yourself and allow others to nurture you. When you receive this card in a reading, that's pretty much what it's telling you. And this card is paired with the Knight of Cups. Now the Knight of Cups, like most, if not all of the cups, is an optimistic good card to see in a reading. Like all nights, this one often comes bearing messages. Usually, these are the kind of good news that we all want to receive. In general, the Knight of Cups would tell you that things are going to be going well. You are likely to be feeling charged up, ready for action. This card often means that good news, particularly in the realm of matters of the heart, is likely to be headed your way soon. So with these two cards paired together, Since the King of Cups represents pure and true love, and it's clarified by the Knight of Cups, it's the kind of love we all want to receive. It may come to you by way of message, text, or letter. 
Now we move on to your challenges. And we start with the emperor. Now the emperor shows us that denotation of the mind over the heart is sometimes necessary even though it is not wanted. In fact, he should be welcomed and that is what you must think about when he appears. When our choices must be made, it's important to maintain your concentration and focus. The emperor signals this, but he also signals that now is a time you should find it easier to make hard choices. Enjoy the assertiveness and confidence that this self-control and focus brings. Forge ahead and do what you know is best. If you can master yourself, then you should have little problem mastering most of the other obstacles that life throws at you. And that card is paired with the Nine of Pentacles. Now the Nine of Pentacles is one of the most uplifting and encouraging cards. This can mean that your financial worries are over for a while and that things in general will be going better than you thought possible. Enjoy this good energy and share your, warp, your wealth and happiness with others. So with these two cards paired together, since now is the time, you will find it easier to make her choices clarified by the Nine of Pentacles indicate you had financial worries, or if you had financial worries, they will be ending and things will be going better than you thought. And that was your challenge. Now we move on to the outcome. Starting with the Five of Cups. Now the Five of Cups is another card which reminds us that where we put our focus in life has a great deal to do with the quality of our lives and how well they work for us. What are you doing to choose to focus on? Excuse me, what are you going to choose to focus on? The implication is extremely clear. Are you going to cry over spilt milk or are you going to focus on the milk you still have and get on with things? The point is, watch where you put your focus and make sure that the focus is for your highest good. And then we have the strength card. It's important now for you to make time to meditate and spend some time alone even if you are in a committed relationship and have 19 children. So don't allow yourself to spend time in preoccupation and fear. Outward things will be going all right, but what is of most paramount importance is keeping your head on straight. Not only do you have the ability, you have the responsibility. So come, conquer your fears, control your impulses, and never lose patience with yourself or what you're doing. So with these two cards paired together, just watch where you put your focus to Make sure it's for the highest good 
and then it's not preoccupied with fear. Okay, Virgos, I hope you enjoyed this reading. I hope it's a great month for you.